This is a movie about using the web content tool in Sakai to create your own custom links on the sidebar. And then uh, in the second part of the movie I'm going to say how you can create your own custom HTML page in Sakai. And the third part I'm going to combine those two and show you how you can really create anything you want with a Sakai site. So I'm starting here with um, an empty site. And the first thing I want to do is cr use the web content tool to create a link that will show up on the side here. Okay, so first I go to Site Info, and then up to Edit Tools. And Edit Tools is a place you can come and add different types of tools. You can add a chat room, you can add a forum, you can add a Dropbox. Um, there's a whole lot of different things that you can do. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is go down to Web Content Tool. And what this does is it allows you to uh, link to any site you want and um, have it on the, uh, the link the, on the sidebar of your site, and you can call it whatever you want. So, and you can also have as many of these as you want to, so your entire site can be made up to them if you want. You just get rid of all the rest of them. So we'll come down, click web, web content, hit continue, and it's going to ask you to give a name and a URL. So I'm going to do uh, a test one. We'll call this one test tool. And then for a link, I'm just going to link to google.com for right now. Um, you can link to whatever we want out on the internet. Um, and later I'll show you how you can link to things within Sakai. So I'm going to hit continue and hit finish. And now if you look down here on the bottom, there's a test tool. And if I click on it, it'll take me to Google. My Google might look a little different from yours since I've signed in. Um, and if you wanted to change this, uh, say you wanted to change where it says test tool or you wanted to change uh, the link that it went to, you can come up to the top here to options. And instead of test tool, I'm going to call it anything link. I'm going to do that twice here, and the reason I'm going to do that is because it shows up uh, where it said test tool before, it shows up in two places. One was on the sidebar, and one was on the top. So um, one of these corresponds to um, the tool title, and the other one to the page title. So for instance, if I left off the K on the page title, and updated. You'll notice that the K is left off here, but the K isn't left off up here. So I'll go back to options, make them both the same. Now if I wanted to, I can also change the URL. So I could just come right in here instead of google.com, I would rather have it go to cnn.com and hit update options. I would not suggest to you that it open a new window, because when you do that, it opens up a small little window, um, and it's generally not useful for most purposes. Uh, you can try that if you want, but I would suggest not using that. So click update options. We've got our K back, because I put it back, and when you look, we can see uh, CNN pops up. Okay, so that's the first part of what we're doing here. That's how to use the web content tool. For the second part of what we're doing, I'm going to show you how to make a custom HTML page. And what you do is you go to the resources area. And our resources area is completely empty here. This is a site with nothing in it. Um, so you can go into add, and then you can see a bunch of options. Generally, this is where you would upload files and such. But you can also go and create an HTML page. And this opens up a rich text editor that you see lots of other places in Sakai. And I'm just going to write, uh, this is a test page. Or um, you could say something like class resources, link one, link two, link three, and you know you can do set up that as whatever you want. Um, so I'll highlight where it says link one and make that a link to something. So we'll have this one be a link to yahoo.com. and highlight the second one here and make that a link to something else. Uh, we'll have that one a link to CNN.com as well. And so forth. So that's how you can use the Rich Text Editor to um, make an HTML page. Now, actually I don't want it to say the test page. We'll delete that. And we'll come up here to Class Resources and make it into a Heading 2, which makes it nice and big at the top. Clean up the formatting a little bit and come down to continue and we can give this whatever page name we want. I'll just call it test HTML page. Come down to the bottom and finish. And now we can see we've created an HTML page and it's sitting in our resources area. 
So if you wanted to get the URL for it, you can go to Actions, Edit Details, and like everything else in the resources area, right here you can see the URL. If you can't see it all, you might want to click this, and that'll make sure it gets it all, because if you accidentally only grab part of the URL, it's not going to work. Um, so you can, I'm going to cancel out of this, because that's one way of selecting the URL for this page. Another way, if it's an HTML page, an easy way to do is just click it. And then it shows up here at the top. We can grab that URL, and I'm going to save that. <clears throat> so we've created an HTML page, and if you look, you can hit the link, and that remember that one went to Yahoo, and the second one went to CNN. Um, and I'm going to close that down, but I've copied the link. So I went here, clicked, and copied the link. Now if I go back to anything link that we created before, you can go to the third stage. So in the third stage, we come back here, click on anything link, go up to options, and we paste in the URL that, from what we created in the resources area. Um, and so when we hit update options, there we see the custom HTML page that we created. Um, and so a couple of things here. One is I like to have my links in alphabetical order on my sidebar. So here we've got anything link, but it's all the way at the bottom, because when you recreate something new, it goes to the bottom. So instead, let's move it up. So you can go to site info, go to page order, and then just pick it up and drag it where you'd like it to go. Anything comes right after announcements. You know, you can do the rest of the cleanup later, but you know, you can move all your different pieces around here like this. So they're all in alphabetical order how you like them. Um, and I won't be too worried about the alphabetical order there, just wanted mine at the top. Hit save. And then we see that anything link has popped up to the top here. So we change that in page order. Another thing is, um, oftentimes people who do this will think, oh, I can just hit options up here and then I'll be able to edit this page. But remember when you hit options, that's just the name of the, the link and where it goes to. So if you wanted to actually edit this page that we created, Remember that we created it in resources, <coughs> and here's the, the page. If we click on it, that'll open it, but that doesn't help us edit it either. Um, what, the way we want to edit it is go to Actions, Edit Content, and when we do that, we'll see this. Say, oh, we're not using Link 3. We'll close that out of there. Hit Continue, and we're done. Now, if we go back into anything in Link again, we'll see that it updated with our changes. So that is um, a really helpful thing that Sakai can do, and it really breaks open the number of things that you can do with the, with the Sakai site. In fact, if you wanted to, you can get rid of almost all the other tools and just have custom links like this. So remember, we started with a web content tool, we made a custom HTML page, and then we combined them. And with that, you can do just about anything in Sakai. Thanks very much.